coming up with concepts like white privilege and and almost casting you know people with white skin as if they're guilty of some kind of original sin and, and have to absolve themselves of it again i think that's completely divisive asking on sort of the black lives matter movement and how um that's um sort of impacted both the left and the right um and how that is effectively it takes a neo-marxist or not or marxist organization but because of sort of the, I think the branding of it, because it's Black Lives Matter, it's sort of being adopted by um, not just sort of the Labour Party, but also uh, big corporations and big business being uh, adopted by that. And if you sort of if criticisms of it, you're almost seen as a bigot, racist, and, and, and sort of anti-black. Yeah, I think I think the whole thing has been divisive. Actually, um, I think there was a, there was a report in the Guardian a couple of days ago, which I think said that, that two thirds of people I think had, had believed that, that race relations had been set back um, as a result of uh, the Black Lives Matter movement. And in fact, interestingly, um, forty four percent of the black and minority people themselves um, actually believed that to be the case. Um, I mean, there are, I, I, I say, look, I don't support Black Lives Matter, capital BLM trademark, but, but I do obviously support the idea, locates that Black Lives Matter. Um, I'll have no truck with anybody who, who, who says that Black Lives don't matter. I think, um, you know, where the, the idea that people should suffer prejudice simply because of the colour of their skin, I think the vast majority of, of people now understand that that's completely wrong. And where there, where there is racism and prejudice and you know it still exists i think we have to accept that it, it should be challenged but i believe equally you have to take people with you um you know you need to build the the, the maximum unity if you're going to challenge racism and prejudice and you don't do that by tearing statues down and violate people's sense of history if a statue if people think a statue should come down they should have a proper democratic debate about that and involve the local community i don't think you just you just you know do it through vandalism um and I don't think you do it through coming up with concepts like white privilege and, and almost casting you know, people with white skin as if they're guilty of some kind of original sin and, and have to absolve themselves of it. Again, I think that's completely divisive. And then when you get into the nitty gritty of Black Lives Matter, you look at defunding the police, abolishing the nuclear family and stuff like that. That's not something that I would, I would have sympathy with. Um, so, so, yeah, I understand people who say it's been divisive. I'm in, I'm in favour of unity between black people and white people, but I don't think they've done much to bring that about.